Alrighty, let's go with lesson one on the accompaniment course. So we'll begin by just playing the white key chords C through C using five, one, three, five as the root. And we will name them. I'll play it through it once just so you know what I'm doing. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. Now B, you can play it with fingers one, three, four if you want, if you want to move forward and play it with one, three, five. That's up to you. They both work, whatever is most comfortable for you. But what you do want to do is keep your fingers moving forward. Um, we don't ever want to twist the hand. This you know, it gets, leads us to carpal tunnel syndrome. All right, so about that speed. One, two, ready, go. Let's do that again. We'll go a little bit slower this time and we'll name them. One, two, ready, go. C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Say a little faster. C, D, E, F, G, A. One more time. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Great. Now you want to be about that fast with moving them. Okay. Let's go from this C to this C, and then this D. You just pedal if you want. Okay, one. We'll go a little slower. I play everything fast, as you might be able to tell already. One, two, ready, go. D. Just say that when, when you're playing something, always look ahead to where you're going. Now my eyes are here. Now my eyes are back to here. Now always look where you're going. Okay, let's uh, roll the chord now. So our goal is not about technique. We will add technique back in. Right now, it's just if you, we'll just see if you can do the, the roll the chord. Okay, starting with the C. Ready. Go. D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay, so do that. Make sure you're comfortable playing those. And then when you're comfortable you know, going quite quickly, let's add your technique in. Now, if you're a person that the, your wrist rolls straight up, then that's what you should do. If you do the Taubman method, you know, or more like that, go for it. You have to play with what you are comfortable doing, okay? Let's so start again. We're going to go a little bit faster. One, two, ready, go. We can think in triplets. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four. Try it again. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. Again, faster. Okay, this time we're going to go. Faster. This time 
D chord. One, two, three, four. That's good. That's the last one. Let's, let's do a solid chord. Oh, I suppose you're not seeing that. Okay, you get the idea. And keep going. And solid chord E, which gives you a little more time to get back. One, two, three, one trip. Let's go backwards. still have a lot of technique there so all right let's come down from the um, a little bit higher and now here's middle C gonna come down all right now we are just using uh, three fingers we'll get to four, four fingers later okay go back and do that again two octaves higher ready go you want to be able to to know where you're going quickly so we'll just start with the one chord and I'll explain the one chord um, if you don't know what that is here are the eight notes in the octave and we're going to build a chord on the first degree the fourth degree and the fifth degree those are the three most common chords in a song okay and you want to know that C F and G go together try to play that C G. Now also say one, four, and five. One, four, and five. One more time. One, four, and five. Let's go to the key of D. And that's going to be your D. There's your five chords. G will be your second one. And then A. Ready? Together. D, G, A. Again. D. G, A, and then we're going to play an E, all right, then your fourth finger, we place it on there, there's an A, and then there's that B, and often this is a B7 chord, but right now we're not playing that fourth finger, so we're just going to stick with this regular roots of B, A, and B, and we're going to skip F because we're not going to be playing in that key, play the key of G, C, and D, and then the 
the key of A, A, D, E. That spells the word egg, A, D, E. Okay, and then we're not going to play the B because we're not in those keys. We can uh, do that at a different time. Okay, so you want to become fast with those. So let's start the key of C. So we'll say C, F, and G. One, two, ready, go. C, F, G, key of D, D, G, A, key of E, E, A, B, key of G, G, C, D, key of A, A, D, and E. That's all of those. Let's play some songs. So our first song we're going to do is Mary Had a Little Lamb. So get out that piece of paper, please. And I'll talk about this song, why I chose this song while you're getting that out. Three reasons. First of all, for people to be able to play right away, you have to know the song. And kids do know how to sing Mary Had a Little Lamb, number one. Number two, it only has two chords. It has the one and the five chord. And when you start teaching, you want to have just two chords. So it's not so complicated. And three, it's a public domain song. So public domain means that you can have a license for, for 26 years, renew it once, 52 years. So after that, the license expires, and then we can use it as a public domain. If you're going to be teaching students, you can copy songs off the internet. But if you're ever going to start making money with that book, like you know I'm doing now, sharing this with somebody else, then you can only use public domain. If it's just with your students and you're not going to be sharing them out in public, you can use stuff that's not public domain. Okay, so you are going to have a chord above the word, and this all has to do with syllables. So, Mary had a little lamb, and then the L-I-T. Little lamb, little lamb, Mary had a little lamb, its face was white as snow. So then, now you decide as an improviser, and I will say improv, improviser, because this is the very beginning of that, and you are doing what you want. I'm giving you some tools, and you're going to use them. So you can choose, and you know, you want to know what kind of a note I'm using. So Mary had a, the song is in 4-4, and I always put time signature you're using, because we will have the left hand notes in there. And you have to know, you know, three, four, or four, four, of course. Two hold notes. One, two, three, four. 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 Now we really don't need to know that. You can just feel it. Mary had a little lamb. Little so right now I added an extra D above the word little. That makes it consistent. So with students, I often just keep that consistency going. And this is every four beats. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three, and four. Now let's do it as half notes. So it'd be one, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, ready, go. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its face was white as snow. All right, now let's do quarter notes, so it's this fast. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb. It's up to you if you want to use pedal or not. Ready, one, two, ready, go. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its face was white as snow. All right, now we're going to just move that up, up an octave. Play the end, the rest of that verse. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went. Within the within the song, you can change octaves. So now we're going to go like this. Mary had a little lamb. Switch. Little lamb. Okay, let's try that. One, two, ready, go. Mary had a little lamb. Little lamb. Little lamb. Mary had a little lamb. Its face was white as snow. Just go higher. Three different octaves, three different D chords. 
So you need four beats. One, two, three, four. And if you're a person that needs to know what we're doing as far as rhythm wise, um, you just count. Mary had a little one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. That's all you get. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. That's all you get. Four, one, two, three. Let's try that. Ready? Go. Mary had a little switch little and beginning again Mary had a little lamb its fleece was white as snow the reason I said beginning again I meant you know um, you had to come back because we only had two D's there and then we started this kind of this downbeat probably could have kept going one more time a little bit faster three octaves one two ready go everywhere that Mary went Mary that um, until you're very comfortable and we're not adding left hand the first time we have enough stuff to be working on here then if you're very 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 uh, if that's very easy for you you go to the G and the, the G and the D so we'll start and then of course the difference just being here was Mary had we're starting at the third of the note Mary had Mary had okay here we go one two Sorry, we'll just do these two just to get rid of, used to the D and the G. Me, ready, go. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, his face was white as snow. Double time like Mary had a little. Ready, go. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. stuff down here on these notes but you can play we absolutely play like when I was playing on um, wedding last week and I had to keep playing different verses and so I, I would move them around and change the rhythm just to make it interesting actually it makes it interesting for me to play because I play the same thing too much time you can get um, a little not monotonous so I choose you know what octave I want to play and then of course you can go to the key of E Okay. So we got a lot, lot to do, and in the course, what we would do is we would put actually put some slashes um, on the music so that the kids understand if they're reading music and they understand whole notes. We make a page as whole notes, make a page as half notes and quarter notes. And the last thing we are going to work on is adding that bass note in there, which brings out a lot. So if your right hand thumb is on D, if you look at Mary Had a Little Lamb, and the first note is D, at this level, what we're doing, your thumb is going to be on D in the right hand, and your thumb is going to be on the D in the left hand. Now with a child, I would only go, I would not add that left hand, never in the first day. I give a couple of songs in the key of D, but I do not give more, I do not put the bass notes together because the bass and the chord together, it's just too much for them. They have enough just moving around, even though it might be easy for you to be doing that. It's just such a different style that they're used to it. And I do bring it down for maybe a six and a seven year old, depending upon how strong their hand is. Two notes, which is fine. And then the very little ones, we just do that and we still sing it. thrilled enough to do that but we will add this bass note and you want to put 
put your hand in this five finger position. Those are the notes you're gonna use. And right now we're just gonna use your thumb and your ring finger because that's the D and the A. My left hand does not move, my right hand does move. So let's just try a few Ds here on the bass chord. Bass and chord, bass note. Now we're gonna to go to the A chord here. So we're gonna to go to the A bass note. because I do move all over the place, just not particularly on this side, but it's an easy thing to start learning. you know no slashes and anything else. the next song we're gonna do is the song cockles and muscles or same song molly malone this song is always a favorite of kids they don't know it prior to me teaching it to them but i do record it on their phones or their ipads all my students have one or the other and my goal is that they all have an, a tablet and that's only for music lessons because we we do record a lot and so I would begin by playing that song on the video and, I, and they're watching. And then I start from the very beginning. I just play that chord and then I'm gonna add the bass in for them to hear. And they're not gonna play it that week, but I'm always encouraging them by playing what's coming so they can be inspired to play that. Okay. So again, it might be just that. And I have a teaching opportunity here, so I do talk about where's Dublin, who's Molly Malone, a little, little history of her. She's a real person, and she would go through the streets of Dublin with a wheelbarrow, and she would have these shellfish, cockles and mussels, and sell them. And then her parents did that too, so that's where we get verse two. So I'll start with the, uh, how we're going to be playing this. And then I will also play how, you know, a little bit more advanced stuff on this. Again, I start with this. In Dublin, fair city, where girls are so pretty, I first set my eyes at sweet Molly Malone. As she wheeled her wheelbarrow through streets broad and narrow, crying cockles and muscles. home the people love it a lot of them do know it but this is uh, often a drinking song and and so I will on the live alive oh I get them all to be raised in their hands so we got a little bit of calisthenics going on and you can just say you're 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 raising a beverage doesn't 
need to be an alcoholic beverage. It could just be some nice water and then at the end we drink up and it's really a, a very favorite one at the nursing home. Okay, so of course, learn to do that. Um, and again, you can choose to go up or you can choose to go down. I always go down from my, my bass chord, my number one chord. All right, so the new thing that for you would be one, two, three. Let's just try that a little bit. the kids to google these songs to hear other things in the background so but actually they just play mine so one two three keeping our hands nice and relaxed. Again, always preventing carpal tunnel syndrome. And then this one would be, um, the second one, my wrist would go up a little bit just to have, you're giving um, some shape to that chord versus, this just does it so cool. And then you wanna hold, some more. 